Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to uh, write the equation of the lips uh, given the center of the vertex and a covertex. Now, uh, to identify the equation of the lips, we got to make sure we got to be able to identify it. Do we have a horizontal or a vertical major axis of uh, major axis? So to understand that, what we're going to do is let's graph the information that we have. So our center is at 3, negative 4. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. Cool. The vertex is at 8, negative 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, negative 4. Vertex, center. And the covertex is at 1, 2, 3, negative 2. OK, now what's important is there's a major axis and there's a vertical axis. And the major axis has um, the vertices and the center and the foci. Well, and the minor axis has the covertices and the center. So the center is a part of both axes. But what you can see here is since the major axis has to contain both vertices, then here is one vertice. All I need to do is replicate that. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 units to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to determine my other vertice. Because the distance from the center to one ver uh, vertex is A, and the distance from the center to a covertex is B. All right. So based on this information, there's a couple things I figured out. First of all, we have a major axis uh, that's horizontal, which is huge important because now when writing my equation, I have the a squared, which again is the distance from the center to a vertex, is larger than the, than, uh, the distance from the center to the covertex. So that distance has to be a squared, has to be under the x, and b squared is going to be under the y. All right. So that is going to be our general equation. Now, if this was switched, if I had a vertical major axis, then I'd swap the a's and b's. Um, so now we just need to determine our information. And fortunately, since they gave us the covertex and the vertex, we actually know what a and b are. Uh, a, we said, was 5, and b is 1, 2. So we don't need to figure out uh, the focus. We're just asking to write the equation. So we only need to know h and k, a and b. Now remember, the center is h comma k. So therefore, I can say h is equal to 3, and k is equal to negative 4. Now be careful. So now you know what 3, negative 4, right? But remember, the formula says x opposite of h y opposite of k. So my equation is going to look like this, x minus 3 squared all over a squared, which is 5 squared, which is 25, plus y opposite of negative 4, which would be y plus 4 squared, all over b squared, which would be 2 squared, which is 4. And then we always set that equal to 1. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you write the equation of an ellipse given the center, vertex, and covertex. Thanks.